this is going to be a voiceover vlog. So this is SEO Trot and Shoot. Uh, I read it real quick because I wanted to have a book to check out so I know what date it was. And so I read the books that I check out and it was cute. It was stupid. <laughs> it was well done. What do you want me to say? The illustrations were beautiful. The story was. My um, library vol haul for this week. Um, Lord of the Rings update. I'm getting further along. Getting further along. <laughs> I'll be done soon. Yay. Actually, I'm okay. Snack! 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 That was a really good Butterfinger. But I like Butterfinger. So. Shelly School and Joe. Um, this one took me a bit to get into. But I really enjoyed it once I did. Um, just, it has a bunch of tropes I like. And maybe I'll do a Shelly School and Joe's. Shelly School thing. It's like 150 pages long. I, I don't know. Really fun. Took me a bit to get into. Has some tropes I like. The wedding song. Um, this is, uh very difficult book, very sad book, very not a nice story, but it's a memoir of a Jewish woman in Iran, so can't expect it to be that cheerful, and can't expect it to, you know, I don't know. It's like 200 pages, literally 201, but some of those pages had big pictures in them, so 200 pages. Anyhow, really sad, really... I don't know. Do that. Um, lock and key. Um, this book was impossible to maneuver. Swing clean. Anyhow, it was cute. It was... I liked it. But not for everyone. I know a lot of people would be... Uh, they know. Wouldn't. Because that's like swearing and... Uh, kissing plus and, you know, drinking and drug mentions it. Um, Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile. It's Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile. It's thick. It, I read it late Saturday night. And I enjoyed it. It was it was fun. It was I had forgotten that this book, um, it doesn't end at the end. Unlike the previous book. There's, you know, sneak peek of, and then there's oh, so it's like 500 plus pages. And I read it in like 5 hours. I read it. Tisha, um, I've been reading this. I didn't read it last week because I was, um, babysitting. But I've like, I've been reading it and enjoying it. I have to probably do a video about it. Anyhow, um, vlog is about to get interesting. <laughs> but I think that's just long enough to count as 150 pages. Yes! 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 <laughs> it's for, um, Weedmo. I'm so excited about that. Monday vlog section. Random eating lunch at the library section. Yeah, I'm eating lunch at the library. That's not tea, that's lunch. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'm also going to talk about, at this moment, here, let me turn it around real fast. I guess I'd also like to talk about my schedule, at least for February. I'm thinking of posting my, posting, bouncing my posting up to three times a week. Because I think with what I read and everything, one vlog, then two other videos a week. Seems legit. So, vlog section weird. Update future. Whatever this is. Last time I checked it out. Ah. Focus, would you? That's the last time I checked it out. It's 
been a while. But now it's more recent. Now I have way too many things to carry back outside. Oh. Here. My box that I used to hold. My box that I've gotten in the month. And so let's talk. Starting with the last one I picked up. Fine feathers. And I hope this is clear. I'll have to film it again if it isn't. It's a quilting book. For me and also for my best friend because her family's been working on a quilt for like five years. So fine feathers. Um yeah. Really excited to read it then gift it. Um, now where do I put it? I didn't think this through. That works for now. Next up <gasps> Madeline Madeline and the Gypsies. Here, let's see. Le Pont Avignon. There. That's the title. So you can read it. Anyhow, um this is self explanatory. If you've read Madeline, I love Madeline. I have a Madeline doll. Next up, for my collection for my future, I have Fretful's Mountain. This one actually can go next to my side of the mountain on the actual shelf of red goodness. Then we have Bringing Books to the Ozarks. A Branson Adventure. I know nothing about this book. It sounds interesting. And so I got it. Next up, another book I know nothing about. Indian Boyhood. Um. Yeah. I know nothing about it. It sounds really great and cost ten dollars back ever it was published 1975 my goodness that's a lot for back then more than I frequently pay now next up we have another book I know nothing about wedding song memoirs of an Iranian Jewish woman kind of self-explanatory it's sounds fascinating it looks interesting I don't know how come I pulled it out of the shelf because it's not the type of cover you should go back spine I usually go for it from the store but I have a question these are my books to read this weekend but I'm only really interested in re you know trying to get this one done this weekend so what should I do with those two do I put them on my TBR shelf I have a TBR shelf what do I do I don't know I didn't think this through they need to be taped because I have knieflings I only have a small shelf or two or three. Two shelves. One box. Three knieflings. Um. Yeah. Kind of tape up my books. <laughs> I'm even haphazard with the books. I also have this for the weekend. Ugh. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going back to drawing that. Where do I put them? You'll never know. Maybe. We'll see. Interruption to talk about work. Ugh. Next up, a book that immediately should be apparent why it stood out to me being so white. I'm totally going to take that book's to cram of this against a white background. But it is Ritz and Escoffier. The, the hotelier, the chef, on the rise of the leisure class. 
um, um, it caught my eye, and then it sounds interesting, and, uh, this may be the book I'm most excited for, apart from, you know, the ones that are already had. Red line, really short, real sweet, quick read. And of course, I've read Fredful's Mouth. So, yeah, that exists. And because I'm going to say this is a monthly haul, I will also include... Chronicles of Fid, um, that I got, though, they got glamour shotted in last Monday's vlog. I may end up reading Fid's Crusade this month, because, like I said, I'm doing Remo, and I just, um, it's adult. It's thriller. It's superhero. It's <laughs> yeah. Um. So kind of. We'll see about these three. And that's my book haul. Um. You can see. I put my man in the gypsies underneath because it's too tall. Frightful's mountain. Next to my side of the mountain, now I just need to see the far side of the mountain. And, uh, these seven books going up there in due time, and it refuses to focus well. Probably the weird lighting. And, uh, Fine Feathers is. <laughs> yeah, we need to finish that quilt. I'm supposed to be helping her. I love it. It's completely different state. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I legit almost forgot to get footage of this. Um, so I read this last week too. It was great. Gave it, I think, four or five stars. Anyhow, I'm going to be reading the next one in the series shortly. Um, then I might do a, like, a duology review, I don't know. But, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was great. Um, so, yeah, um, there's that one. Esme's Wish by Elizabeth Foster. Um, I got, I would say an arc, but it wasn't an arc. It was a back arc, whatever, anyhow. I also acquired, as if you saw my haul, uh, Madeline and the Gypsies, and I read it, and yeah, that's, um, it was delightful. So, I didn't want to pull it out, because right now it's like, under like a dozen books, because it wouldn't stand up on my shelf. So, also I have a plain hardback cover, so. You can see the actual book later in the video, but this is Madeline and the Gypsies, what am I supposed to say about it? It's Madeline and the Gypsies. I mean, guys... This book's delightful. And that's that's it. So two books that I read that I don't have well, I don't have the physical copy of one, but I don't want to get out the physical copy of the other. Esme's Wish and Madeline and the Gypsies. I like my touch screen. I like it. Okay. That's it. Bye. So I'm popping in here to say that I listening to the audiobook of Stowaway by Jan Hess. Um, I'm listening to it as I render videos and it's good. Bye.